Brian Dulesky with Able Distributors. Today I wanted to show you how you take our Kalefi manifolds for radiant tubing and you can zone them. So instead of having individual manifolds for each zone, if you've only got a couple tubes or runs on each zone, you can take one manifold. Now this is a three port, but let's say you had a six port and you had three runs on one zone and three on the other, you would buy six of the Kalefi zone valves, the actuators that fit right on top. And the way these go on is very, very simple. Now, you know, these are adjustable top and bottom by turning that so you can adjust the flow. But when you want to zone it, what you're going to do on the return side, you're going to spin the entire nut off. Now, when you're adjusting these, you're only spinning the end to adjust the plunger in there. But when you're going to zone it, you're going to take the entire nut off and it's just a plunger that goes up and down. You're going to take the little adapter that they give you with that piece and that threads on just like that. And then you're going to take your, and I'll do it so the wire's behind there. You're going to take your zone valve and that just clips on. You're done. Now you take this end, you're wired to one of our Kalefi zone panels, which looks like this. So you can see this is a three port. This is a three zone valve panel. You've got thermostat connections with a common. So if you wanted to run a smart thermostat or a Wi-Fi thermostat, you could. You've got spots for your three zone valves. Now this is a two wire, but if you had a different brand, even mixed and match, you could do up to four wires. So you could do the two wire, three wire, or the four wire. Anybody's brand will work in there. And then remember, we've got connections that work with anybody's PECs. It doesn't have to be our AL, whether it's PECs AL or not. You're set. Now to take these things off. Now I do recommend take the caps, put them in a little Ziploc baggie, leave them someplace, Ziploc tie them someplace here. Because if a valve ever failed, you could pop it off. Put this back on and either select open or closed or maybe someplace in the middle just to get them heat through the night until you can get the, uh, the valve replaced. But to get these valves off now, there's a little ring and there's a little clip. You just take a flat blade screwdriver, barely pull up on it and it'll allow it to come off. And if you ever wanted to switch it back, you take that off, take that little adapter off and spin on the original cap. And that allows you to adjust the flow on that plunger. And there you have it, how you would zone off a Cleffy manifold. Brian Dulesky, Able Distributors, have a great day.